Hey guys, this is Sherin. In the last few sessions, we have discussed about the different topics in software testing. Today, we are going to discuss about the different estimation techniques that we use in a software testing project. If you have not seen the sessions, please do watch the sessions in my channel, Test Talks. So welcome to Test Talks and today's session, Software Test Estimation Techniques. First, we will see about why estimation is required. Each and every project has an objective. Depends on the requirements of the project. We need to understand the time required to finish the project, the effort required for that, or the kind of skills required for completing the project, and obviously the budget required for completing the project. So we use test estimation techniques to find out all of these. For example, estimation techniques are used to find out the time or effort required to complete the project. So test estimation is one of the activity which we perform during the beginning of the project. Okay, let's understand what is work breakdown structure. Lots of effort and work is required to complete the project. In work breakdown structure, the whole work is divided into smaller chunks and effort is estimated for each of the tasks. Total work can be divided into different modules. Each module can be divided into different submodules and each submodule can be divided into different functionalities and for each of the functionalities different tasks can be assigned. Finally, the estimation would be performed for each of the tasks. In a software testing project, the different tasks can be unlacing the requirements of the customer, designing the test cases for customer's requirement, executing the test cases and finding out the defects. Different tasks would be assigned to different testers and they do the estimation for each of the tasks. So finally, the total effort required for completing the project would be arrived in this fashion. Okay, we have seen about why estimation is required and what is work breakdown structure. Let's see about the different estimation techniques that we use in the software testing industry. The two widely used estimation techniques are functional point analysis and test case point analysis. In functional point analysis, for each of the tasks, complexity is defined and functional points would be arrived. Depends on how tough the task is, we can have the complexities. It can be complex, medium or low. And based on the complexity, we can give the functional points. The values can be 5, 3 and 1. For complex task, the value can be 5. For medium task, uh, the value can be 3 and for low, it can be 1. Now we will take a scenario and we will do the estimation for the requirements. I am using the same scenario which we have already used in our earlier sessions. The different functionalities of online shopping website are customer registration, adding products to the cart, placing an order by the customer and sending communication to the customer. Assume that these are the lowest level of functionalities and we can perform an estimation for these functionalities now. As a first step, we need to find out the complexity for each of these functionalities. So as I earlier said, the complexities can be medium, low or complex. So we need to categorize these functionalities under this bucket. In this example, we are taking it in this way. For the functionality customer registration, the complexity is medium. For the functionality adding products to the cart, we are giving the complexity as complex. Similarly, for placing the order, we are giving it as complex. And finally, for the functionality sending communication to the customer, we are giving the complexity as low. The next step is to give the functional points for each of the functionalities based on the complexity. For customer registration, we are giving it as 3. For adding products to the car, we are giving it as 5. As the complexity is complex for placing an order, we are giving the value as 5. Similarly, for sending the communication, the complexity is low and its value is 1. The next step is to find out the total functional points for all the functionalities. In this case, if we sum up the values for all the functionalities, we get the final value as 14. Now we need to derive the time to complete one functional point. In this case, we are taking it as 5 hours, which means that for completing one functional point of effort, a person requires 5 hours. The final step is to find out the total effort. For that, we have the total functional points which is 14 and we have the time required to complete one functional point which is 5 hours. If we multiply 14 and 5, then we get 70. So 
70 hours is required to complete the activities of these four functionalities customer registration adding product to the cards placing order and sending communication so the different steps in functional point analysis are deriving the complexity for the task giving the functional points for the task depends on its complexity finding out the total functional points for the requirements deriving the effort required to complete one functional point and finally finding out the total effort required for the total functional points okay let's see the next technique which is test case point analysis here we define the complexities for the test scenarios that we have written and effort is calculated for the test scenarios in functional point analysis complexities are defined for the functionalities and functional points are calculated but here in test case point analysis the complexities are defined for the test scenarios and we can calculate the functional points or test case points for the test scenarios in this way we can calculate the total test case points and we can calculate the effort from these in both functional point analysis and test case point analysis adjustment factors like buffer time defect turnaround time resource buffer etc can be considered to recap we have seen about why estimation is required what is work breakdown structure and we have seen the different estimation techniques like functional point analysis and test case point analysis and we have seen the functional point analysis with an example I hope this session helps you to understand about the different estimation techniques that we use in software testing. If you like this session then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel Test Talks. I'll be coming up with many videos on software testing. Please keep an eye on it. That's all folks this is Sherin signing off. Thank you.